so much talent here in this area. I mean, my goodness, you just look at the litany of gyms and, and fighters that have made their way to the next level or that have really carved their niche here with United Combat League. I mean, we can go down and, and really look at some high-level prize fighters. You know, it's always come comparable to like every town having their high school football team, and you know every town has their you know local MMA gym, and it, it's ultra competitive between these uh, different gyms, and it's it's awesome to see here, especially in the Chicagoland area. You and I both being uh, products of the Midwest, the Chicagoland area, to see that the the MMA fight game is, is strong. I agree, and as we see Juan Avila, he's wearing the black and the red, wearing the the brown and the black is Diego Gonzalez. Yeah, Diego Gonzalez wearing the more traditional MMA uh, shorts there. And it's one of those things, you know, in the kickboxing realm, you know, you have to kind of make sure your equipment is well. So we'll see how that affects them. Probably not too much, but it's just something that they can take note of. You know, Juan Avila making his way on the inside, throws an overhand right. But it is Diego Gonzalez who still hasn't been able to time a Juan Avila. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. Good kick by yeah. Diego Gonzalez. It's almost he had to check himself for doing for a takedown there. Oh. High level chess when it comes to book fighters and Diego or Juan Avila and Diego Gonzalez. Yeah, both guys really do in their time. Uh, watching for the opening. Not really going for anything too aggressive, but really still pressing the fight. Good strikes by Ripcage, but a right hand that smashed Diego Gonzalez with Juan Avila. Good job by the ref there, breaking him up there from the other against the cage. And Avila is going to southpaw. Oh, oh boy, that oh. was a kick. And momentarily going down with Juan Avila, and round one is in the books. A great, very fast-paced round one there by both men. Uh, none of these guys look tired, so you're looking to continue that kind of uh, attack and action into round two. And then neither guy wanted to make a mistake, so they, they were not gambling uh, too much. But I think that feeling out process yeah. has gone by the wayside as we head towards round number two. Oh, you can see definitely where that first round Avila was watching. He was very steady, looking for those strikes. What was the pad? What was the combo? What was the, uh, you know, the rhythm in it? Uh, I think in the second round he's going to come out striking a little bit more. Uh, he also kind of had at times that more of a boxer stance. He was looking like he wanted to, you know, strike more of his hands and you know utilize his kicks. So we'll see what he does going into the second round of that fight. Round number two scheduled for three. Juan Avila out of the blue corner. He's wearing the traditional Muay Thai trunks, the black with the white and the red, wearing the brown with the orange out of the red corner is Diego Gonzalez. A guard for Diego Gonzalez as well as Avila looking to swarm Gonzalez. Now see you're right, the feeling out process is over. Both these guys are on the attack now. Juan Avila getting off some leg kicks. Tip shots by both men. Oh. And now we have oh, the equipment yeah, malfunction. Yeah. Like, great job by the referee to get that together. And now Juan Avila coming forward with a couple of hooks upstairs. That was a great job by the ref. You know, especially in the kickboxing world, well, when you're throwing those leg kicks, you, you know, very much put yourself in danger to a serious injury. So great job by the ref making sure the equipment is all right there. But Diego Gonzalez is still, he is pressing forward, but Juan Avila is like a bullet. You see, look at what, uh, the problem is, is though, is that Avila is trying to make this an MMA fight. You can see at times he, he, he almost goes, shoots for a takedown, and then realizes, <laughs> yeah. wait a minute, I can't do that. You know, I mean, right there was a great example. He, he pulled back from it. Luckily, he didn't take him down, or else, boy, we would, we would, we would certainly have uh, something different and unique on our hands here. It would have uh, been a hybrid fight of kickboxing and MMA all of a sudden. Well, it's so fitting because uh, Diego Gonzalez comes from hybrid mixed martial arts, so I guess I'm sure he's up to the challenge. He would have probably been well prepared for that <laughs> if that came, you know. And, and I wonder, as we saw, Diego Gonzalez, he is a he goes from South Carolina Convention on he backing up, he ate a left with the right hook attached to it. 
looks, it looks like, too, with the, the strikes by Gonzalez, he's a little bit more upright, a little bit more steady with his strikes, really getting centered. He's right, they're right in front of us here. And yeah. they spin around, and that will bring an end to round number two. Right. And we also had, for, for Diego Gonzalez, he is, because he fights tall, you got to protect yourself, and, and he is, when he backs away, his chin is in the air. So if you are Juan Avila, he should be throwing those overhand rights because the target is not moving in Diego Gonzalez. And if you're Diego Gonzalez, you have to out-hustle Juan Avila. Avila's throwing, but not as much as he should. So Diego Gonzalez needs to really outwork and, and, and find a way to throw more combinations and just get after it in order to try to out-hustle Juan Avila. He definitely does. And you saw that, you could see that Avila had the power to throw those punches. When he's going for those shots, really centering up, throwing him, but he's not connecting though. But if he times it right, he hits Gonzalez with one of those, it could be bad news for Gonzalez. Well, I agree. Ray Flores had some line here. Page side, United Combat League here in Marionette Park, 115 Bourbon Street on the southwest side of one of the greatest cities in the world, Chicago. And, it, you know, I've said it once, I said it again, it is definitely an honor to call it with one of the legends in the fight world. Uh, if you don't know who Ray Flores is, oh boy, you just go what you watch any uh, boxing match, you see that man ringside or in the ring. Uh, you are way too kind, Ed. Great to be with you, with you uh, ringside, or not ringside, but now I got my uh, sports <laughs> confused. Cage side. Cage side, yes. <laughs> and now we're seeing Juan Avila who is ripping away with some body shots. Well, like you were saying earlier, though, Avila's fighting that open. Dallas is standing tall. He's trying to connect with those punches, and it really worked effectively right there. Now they're close distance. Avila will separate. Avila's throwing some heavy punches. No, for sure. Power shots. But again, Diego Gonzalez, Ooh, and he spins around. Nice spinning back yeah. there. It backed up Avila, but Diego Gonzalez, if he were to throw his jab instead of sort of trying to use these innovative, uh, aesthetically pleasing kicks, he could potentially win the round if he was active. You know, those are the kind of kicks I call like the video game kicks. You know, you, you hit the right combination and it looks really nice, but you know, unfortunately in real life, if you don't hit it, it, it it's not effective. No, not at all. And Juan Avila throwing yeah. a nice uppercut, followed by a shot to the temple, right cross down the middle. Oh. And now Diego Gonzalez is absorbing quite a bit of punishment, but back comes Diego Gonzalez. Credit to the chin of Diego Gonzalez for taking something like that. A great job right there. And look at Avila. Avila comes in full steam ahead, charging forward. Credit to Avila there for not going for an illegal strike or anything. He stopped, he saw you, Gonzalez was down. 10 seconds to go in the fight. Juan Avila, Diego Gonzalez will go to the scorecards in this entertaining kickboxing matchup here at United Combat League. Well, that was a hell of a showing by both guys there. And you, look at Gonzalez, he looks, he looks worn out. Well, he gave as much as he received, but Looks like Juan Avila was able to land the more the cleaner shots in the heavier blows. After three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards. Judge one, score the contest. For the blue corner, Avila. Judge two, score the contest. For the red corner, Cruz Gonzalez. Judge three, score the contest. For your winner by split decision, out of the blue corner, Juan Avila!